Hello guys, welcome back. It would not be wrong to say that Glock has owned the 9mm market with its standard G7 and compact G19. These are the go-to options for a 9mm for most people who are looking for practicality and reliability. While the 9mm is an excellent caliber, some people, especially those with a background in law enforcement and the military, prefer higher stopping power. Several manufacturers have tried their hands at 45 caliber, but most of them come with certain compromises. Glock seems to have found the trick with the Glock 21. With this handgun, the Glock offers the caliber of a larger handgun along with likable features such as practicality and ease of use of small handguns. It is apparent in the handgun's build, grip, and ergonomics, especially in the Gen 4 model, which also offers a dual recoil spring assembly to decrease kick and wear. I have had the Glock 21 for quite a while now, and to be honest, it is one of my favorite guns that I own. It is one of those guns I routinely take out to the range for various drills. And there are some thoughts about this handgun that I want you guys to know. So if you have decided to get a higher power caliber and the Glock 21 is one of the potential options, this video is for you. Let's get into it. The Build First things first, let's talk about the build of the Glock 21. Anyone who has seen this gun knows that it is an active duty handgun, but upon holding it, you realize how light it really is for its size. It weighs in at just around 30 ounces. Furthermore, the ergonomics of the Glock 21 are also excellent, and frankly, I would not have expected anything less from the Austrian firearm manufacturer. It feels like a well-built weapon, and the grip's textures are made just right. The texture is not too aggressive, but still offers incredible control. It must be mentioned that, compared to other 45 calibers on the market, the size of the Glock 21 is relatively large. I think the size of your hand will largely influence whether you find it comfortable. For me, the size of the Glock 21 feels just right, and I have medium-sized hands. I think anyone with a similar hand size will not experience any issues with the size of the Glock 21. Furthermore, the modular design of the Glock 21 makes it customizable to a large extent. For example, the back straps of the handguns are interchangeable, and five options come bundled in the package. Another feature that I quite like is the reversible magazine catch and the dual recoil spring, which I mentioned in the intro. In addition to improving the overall shooting performance, the new spring system also improves the longevity of the pistol. I have given a hard time to Glock's weapons for their sights and for the right reasons. Those plastic sights that are consistent in most of Glock's offerings do not go well with the overall makeup of the weapon. Do not get me wrong, those sights get the job done. It is just that they are rather underwhelming for a brand as big as Glock. It is something that I've always wanted the Glock to upgrade and the Austrian firearm manufacturer has done just that with its fourth generation. The newer generation features Glock MH3 steel 3-dot night sights, which are precise and practical. They are also nighttime friendly, which is definitely a plus. Furthermore, even if you do not like the stock sights, Glock offers plenty of customization options. Safety and Trigger Safety has never been a problem for Glock's weapon and is consistent with the Glock 21. The newer generation of the Glock 21 features a safe action system, a three-part, fully automatic safety system designed to ensure that the pistol remains as safe as possible. The trigger safety is incorporated into the trigger, and when it is engaged, it blocks the trigger from moving backward. You must engage the trigger and trigger safety together to fire with the Glock 21. The other two safeties include firing safety and drop safety. The former includes a spring-loaded blocker of the firing pin, and the latter prevents the pistol from accidental discharge upon accidental falls. As for the trigger, well, it feels exactly like a Glock trigger. It is fitted with a 5.5 pound pull, a standard for the Glock. If you are coming from another brand, the Glock's trigger will make you feel a little off at first, but with time, it will grow on you. Furthermore, weight connectors to reduce trigger weight are also available if you want to lighten the pull. However, if you have used the Glock before and love its trigger, there is not much difference that you will get with the G21. Modular Design we discussed the modularity of the G21 briefly, but it is also important to mention that, thanks to it, the G21 can also be converted into a 10mm for 45 caliber. 
the process to convert the caliber is very simple, particularly because it is a variant of the Glock 20, which is a 10mm pistol. The G21 features the same frame as the G20, and the slides of the G21 can also accommodate barrels designed for G20. Furthermore, the magazines can also be swapped. Basically, you have to swap three parts, the magazine, the barrel, and the recoil spring to convert the G21 to the 10mm caliber. As to why you would want to do that, well, for the same reason you want to get the G21, the 10mm delivers even more firepower than the 45 Auto without being as hefty as the latter. On the range, people prefer active duty calibers like the 45 Auto because of the higher stopping power, but that comes with additional recoil, which consequently results in accurate shots. However, the Glock 21 does not suffer from these shortcomings, and I can safely say it is one of the most accurate 45 pistols I have tried. Glock has found a balance that offers higher stopping power without compromising the ease of handling. Essentially, you are getting the best of both worlds. It is something that I was not expecting at all back when the gun was released. I mean, the gun weighs around 40 pounds, which is pretty light. A handgun of that weight typically offers high recoil, and oftentimes those guns are very difficult to shoot. However, the design of the Glock 21 checks the right boxes, which despite a lightweight and chambering powerful round, offer a very manageable recoil. While the recoil was manageable in the previous generations as well, the fourth generation of G21 takes things to a new level. The dual recoil spring assembly reduces that faint kick that was felt with the previous models. In addition to the soft recoil, the sights of the G21 also contribute to making it as accurate as it is. Acquiring and locking the target, even with stock sights, is easy, even if you are using them in dark light. And to top it all off, it offers a 13-round capacity, so a magazine has enough rounds to have fun at the range in one go. It also offers extended magazines, but I think most people will be satisfied with the standard magazine. Aftermarket Support Like most other Glock handguns, the G21 also enjoys extensive aftermarket support. There are loads of accessories that you can find on the market to attach to your G21. The polymer frame of the G21 features Picatinny-compatible accessory rails that can accept a number of accessories. Everything from sights and grips to extended magazines can be found on the aftermarket to customize your G21 as you want. Should you get the G21? To be honest, there are only a few options in 45 caliber that come close to the G21 when it comes to performance. With most such handguns, there are some compromises that one has to make, but with the G21, you would not make any major compromises. At least, I don't think so. Yes, the weapon size is a bit large, but you will get accustomed to it in no time. The real question is not whether you should buy the G21, but rather whether you need a 45 caliber handgun. The rounds of a 45 caliber are significantly more expensive than the 9mm, which is something that you must take into account if you are getting this for a casual day at the range. Furthermore, the price of the G21 is also higher than the 9mm counterparts. So it is for you to decide whether or not the extra bucks are worth it for the added firepower. And if you decide to favor it, you will hardly find an option that beats the G21. That is all I have to say on the G21. Let me know what you think of the G21 and the 45 caliber in the comments section. And stay connected with the channel to learn more about guns and everything else surrounding them. I will see you in the next one.